Hi guys, Ray here. So today I have a haul from Hermes and Laura Piana. I went shopping a few days ago and of course, like always, my partner doesn't let me start using anything until I film a video, so I'm being held hostage, to be honest. But that's okay, I can show you guys everything I bought. Um, and yeah, so first, as always, I want to show you guys a few pieces that I'm going to send out to my clients because I like to show you guys and I've gotten some feedback that you really enjoy seeing your pieces in the video and for me it's really fun anyways. So the first piece I want to show you is my Birthstone Charm Diamond Solitaire and it's really beautiful. Let me just make sure it's facing the right way. So here it is. This is a 0.75 carat diamond set in platinum. And this one has three birthstone charms. The standard is two, but if you want more charms, that's definitely not an issue. This is a blue sapphire, a green emerald, and a diamond. And the center is a 0.75 carat diamond. And it's so beautiful. It's the first one I've made in platinum, and I really, really like it. Um, I actually don't have like a diamond chain myself, so I'm considering making one for myself because it's really, really pretty. And it's just like an ultimate classic design. If you're interested in this one, um, I do have my price list on my Instagram for my jewelry at Studio Leva. The prices are really good at the moment, so if you're interested, just check it out there. Um, and these are pink sapphire studs. This particular color is a pale pink or cherry blossom pink color. I think you can see, but it's such a nice pale pink that's really universally flattering and I've never made sapphire studs so this was a really nice way for me to test the style out. The difference between diamond studs and sapphire studs, I have to say the sapphires have like a really pure sparkle compared to diamonds. I don't know if you can see it, it's really hard to show you guys. But um, they just kind of glimmer and shine in the sunlight in a different way to diamonds and I really like it because I think it's a more mature look compared to the very flashy sparkly diamond look and you know there's a time and place for both and your mood also obviously. Anyways um, that's everything. I'm waiting for a few other shipments and they're going to be really really nice but I haven't received them yet from Japan. So let's just get into it. I think I'll open the Laura Piana first just because it's just one bag. So from Laura Piana, I bought two things and I got my husband one thing as a gift. So let me unbox it. Also disclaimer, I might have to exchange the thing I bought because I don't know if I got the correct size. Um, I'm like the worst person in the world when it comes to shoes because I don't know how shoes are supposed to fit, but that's a me issue. I just really don't know how to buy shoes for myself. Like, how are they supposed to, are they supposed to touch the top of, are your toes supposed to touch the top of the shoes or are they not? Because I know they're not supposed to like be slammed against the foot, but I don't, no one ever taught me how shoes were supposed to fit and now all the shoes I have, I feel like they don't fit me. This I think is his, so we're just gonna get it over with because it's boring, because it's not mine. So these are the, I have no idea, Weekend Walk Evo sneakers. I think they're actually really cute. They're a very simple shoe. I feel like you wouldn't know what brand they are because there's literally no branding except for here, but who's gonna look at that? But they look really nice on him and he also really liked how they felt on his feet so yeah these are just simple white sneakers <sighs> okay my shoes just fell what I got. I think the color is really nice and I don't know if I got the right size. I tried on the 39s but they were very wide and long and these are in suede leather so they are supposed to stretch more I guess. Um, the 38 and a half is the size I got but these are the summer walks by the way. The charms are very cute. 
you can see mine are in silver hardware and the soles look slippery as ever but I'm not sure maybe they aren't I really liked how they looked on my feet I'll show you guys now I guess this is like really bad to have a cup of coffee right here so I'm gonna move it I'll try them on there is a chance I'm gonna have to exchange it for a size larger because I, like I said, I don't know how to buy shoes. But these were probably my size. Let me see them. I can't see, I think you can see them, right? They're just like a classic shoe loafer, moccasins, whatever you want to call them. And yeah, I thought they would be great for summer, but actually they're feeling a little tight, so maybe I'll have to exchange them. I have no idea. Ugh, okay. I think I have to reevaluate the size. Oh, that's interesting. One has a logo and the other doesn't. I didn't even notice that. But everything else is identical. Huh. So, these are these. They're very soft, very comfortable, but probably not my size. I'll have to try them on with like thin socks and see, because maybe my feet are like sweaty right now. So, and the final thing I got is this cotton sweater for summer. I think it's actually perfect. And I felt like I would be able to wear these like well into my middle ages. Um, I'm 28 right now, but I wanted something that I would be able to wear like when I'm older. Okay, so here is the shirt. Um, as you can see, it's literally just like a plain polo sweater, but I really like the sleeves. Do you see how it's like droopy but fitted at the wrist? I think that's really nice. I like how open it is on the chest because you can breathe. And I don't have any white sweaters because I don't think I suit white, but this is a bit of an off-white, so it's not like a stark white, you know? But yeah, so these, this is the reason I went to Laura Piana, and then this was um, just something I got on a whim, and yeah, so that's it. Uh, let me show you guys the material. So it's like a cotton sweater material, and it's super comfortable, very breathable, and I think it'll be perfect for spring. And I think it's really good to have like a few luxury pret a pieces because as you know, I'm wearing sweatpants and leggings and hoodies like all the time. So I feel like sometimes I should have like nice clothing. So let's get into Hermes. I purchased some things mostly as um, quota bag bait, but mostly also because I really wanted it. I'm trying to remember what's in this bag. Oh, this is not mine. That's why. Okay, so my partner got um, pants. They're just men's linen pants. I'll show you them really quickly. It's so boring. I don't like talking about his stuff. But they're just a very wide linen formal pant. Um, do you care? I don't think you care, but I'll show you guys. And just standard boring linen pants you can see the material but let's move on because that's really boring what i bought is um, some tableware because i wanted to upgrade my current temp tableware my sister recently moved to la and she begged me for the plates i have because i mentioned that i might get rid of them so she asked if i could send them to her in la which is what I'm doing, and it's like 100 euros to send the plates because they're quite heavy. But that's fine because I wanted to buy these Hermes plates anyways. Oh, this one is so cute. So this is actually not like a full-size dinner plate, but the dinner plates were really big, and I think these are plenty big for dinner. So this is the H Deco design. As you can see, it's very Art Deco-ish. Um, very simple, just normal plates. And they're going to be my everyday plates because 
I feel like if you have nice tableware, a lot of people don't use them. They like reserve them for display or for really special occasions. But if I'm gonna die in the next like few decades, I would rather have died after using nice plates. So that's what I'm gonna do. And this is the Platinum series. What is it called? Mosaic. This is the Mosaic series and the colors in Platin or Platinum. And these are actually soup bowls or like soup plates. Very shallow, but really cute. And I thought it would look really nice like just eating from this, you know? Like, why not eat from fancy plates? Because why are you gonna save them? Just use them, you're gonna be dead anyways. And the final ones are the same as the first, but they're black. So here are my H Deco plates in black. Also really nice. I'm really excited to eat dinner today from these. I've been wanting to unbox it, but of course, I wasn't allowed to until I made this video. As I said, I'm a hostage. So here are all my plates. This is my reward for sending my sister five kilos of my old plates. I get some new plates. So that's all. Um, and yeah, I, oh, actually I want to talk about I want to like cycle back to the very beginning of this video, which I believe I filmed when I was in Japan, and talk about the Cartier ring that I bought. So let me just go grab it really quick. This is the ring that I unboxed in the beginning of the video. And this is the Anniversary Trinity series. So Cartier usually has this Trinity ring but it's in the round format like the traditional rings and for their 100th anniversary of this design they released this square cube version and I loved it the moment I saw it the price in Japan was really great as well because I got it for about 2,000 euros and if I were to buy it in Germany it would have been 2,300 euros this is without tax back because I can't do tax back in Japan as I'm a resident but um so if you were to go to Japan and do tax back and also take advantage of the week yen you would get it for even cheaper but I got it for about 2,000 euros which is already a good price for me considering I can't do tax back in Germany and I can't do it in America and I can't do it in Japan so here's how it looks I think it's really unique and it is at the same time very classic design from Cartier and I just like how chunky it is it is a little bit loose, but the good thing about that is I have my Ripple Etoile Band, which is the classic band that I offer from my brand. And this band, look how perfect it fits in the groove. So you can see here, this like curved dip in my band fits perfectly with the Cartier Trinity. So in the winters or when it's cold and the Trinity ring is a bit loose. I'm just going to stack it with my Ripple Etoile band. And in the summer when my fingers are fatter because my fingers swell a lot in summer, I'll just wear it like this. So yeah, and if you wanted to know how you like wear this ring and stuff, there's really no rule because it is a ever-changing ring. And when you wear it, you want to first make sure that it's not like tangled in itself and then you just roll it onto your finger so like this and as you roll it the design changes a bit and then you can adjust it by spinning it to show the metals that you want to wear that day or show more of that day I'm not really picky I just wear it however and yeah that's it so if you're somebody who's been wanting to try out mixing metals but you don't know how or you've always only had one metal, the Trinity Collection is really a great way to do that because you get three metals in one and it really does force you out of your comfort zone because I know a lot of people are really traditional and like to match all their metals like even with their handbags, their belts, and their jewelry. I'm always mixing my metals so it doesn't really apply to me but I do really recognize that that's a really great way to start out with mixing metals. So yeah, that's everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching as always. 
and now that I'm back in Germany, I am very bored, a bit depressed, but I think I'll try to fill my time with making videos. So thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great March. Uh, no, it's April. Great April so far. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.